The blues scene develops in D.C. as much around the Hawks as anyone else. They were really the band that took a lot of other people kicking and screaming back to hear this music. They were just so sure of themselves, not cocky, confident. They really had it. They just do what works for them. Mark, Jimmy, Jan, and Pete, that was a tight unit. Those guys really had it. All of a sudden now, we went from playing to maybe two or three people in a row to lines around the block just because Greg might be there. And then we got to open for money. We all tried to channel that feel that he put into his music and the blues. It was a lesson every night you got to be on stage with it. I fought with Thackeray every day. I mean, we could have almost a fist fight about which Muddy Waters song was doing. If there was ever a rap that sort of deterred from the Nighthawks, it was that they weren't songwriters. And I guess if they could have done that, they would have been rock stars. I still believe that band could have busted out and the four of us stayed together with the right frame of mind, but things were pulling us apart. I think a lot of people didn't even realize they still existed. You mean, you've been around so long, sometimes people start taking you for granted. You know, they decided to make the change. I don't know, I didn't ask. Nighthawk would call you and ask you, do you want a gig? You take it. There are very few bands that have been out there 40 years or more that are still true to what they started out doing. It doesn't sound like 40 years has passed. It's the same band. It doesn't really matter who's there with him. All those years fall off the minute that they start playing.